tile bar. Alex, um, Kim picked up this tile for backsplash. It's a pretty cool looking tile. tile it's bar. like a sage green, I would say, flat finish. Um, that she wants your input on this. I don't know if you want to come by here or this is good enough for you to give your opinion on it. Um, this is for tile backsplash. <clears throat> she wants to talk to you about doors because <clears throat> she's ordering interior doors, but she's thinking to do oak finish and like buy a white oak door and have us to finish it to match the color of the cabinet that we have. So we need to have a little conversation about that. And then also the fireplace, we're just gonna leave it as of right now until everything comes together. And then she's gonna revisit the, the whole design of the fireplace because Keith doesn't want any mantle and <clears throat> she's not sure what will be the best idea as far as tile goes. She has some extra material of what they put on the floor, but we're just gonna have another design meeting just for the fireplace after she puts everything back together. Uh, that goes for the fireplace. Um, so fireplace and a backsplash. Alfredo's guys are working here. They're gonna need a few more days. I would say somewhere mid next week they're going to be done <clears throat> then i'm going to schedule our guys to come and do some finish work um, i can't really put the faucet in here until their back splashes up uh, so i can't measure the drawer boxes for it um, i can't put that door that cabinet on the top until this spot is uh, dried out so we make sure that because she she's not going to stay with this if this stays here she wants it changed um, so i explained to her that i seen this the bleeding of the epoxy it goes away af after it gets dried out uh, we have a spot in there so this whole section is basically on hold until that spot goes away if it goes away i'm going to put the upper cabinet on do the backsplash then do the plumbing fixtures, then I can measure for drawer boxes uh, so we can put the drawer fronts up. That's just to finish this section. Uh, as far as the closet goes, we're pretty much done on those. All we have is a bottom trim to do, which we can do it after uh, floor is done. And uh, same thing over here, floor is done. You can pass it. Uh, floor is done. As after the floor is done, we can do the finish, but I can't finish the baseboard until I get the door uh, figured out. She's doing a wallpaper in here. Um, that piece, or for those guys know that how you want it as far as the shelf goes. I mean, the bench goes underneath the tile, so they're gonna cut that and detail with it. So as of right now, we'll just have to wait for Alfredo's guys to get out. And I will have my guys to come and do a little bit of finish trim if I have to come. Otherwise, um, hopefully, this piece goes away so I can put the upper cabinet too. Uh, we're gonna revisit this spot next week okay. and uh, see how that goes. Um, you're gonna need to talk to her about doors. I told her where she can look for some of the doors to get an idea and we'll talk about it. And uh, we got this and the rest of the house door. I don't know if she's not touching those, but we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna go down to look at the office for you, so you see. Hello. You're on film. <laughs> she looks calm. So office is done, it looks really nice. We just have to do the baseboard. I have the baseboard in here. So when we come upstairs, we can finish the baseboard in here. This looks beautiful, the countertop is on. Yeah, this is a really nice countertop. It looks perfect. Mark suggested that. It's perfect. Perfect. So. I just wanted to replace that. Yeah, Keith likes it too. Oh yeah. Yeah, it came out really nice. So.
Looks awesome, the floor looks good. And she wants one tile to be replaced. She has it here, she wants to take this out and replace this one. So as soon as I throw those guys out, I can do the baseboard, do some of the finish trim upstairs and then wait for the tile backsplash and the countertop situation. All right, and you will have uh, some talking with her about her door and the backsplash design and the oh. fireplace. Yes. There's another issue. You see that molding up there? There's a second. Uh huh. You have to come up here and I can show what you. is it? See that second um, molding that was cut away? It's going to interfere with the door, so I don't think we could even have it replaced. You see what I'm saying? Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay. I don't, is it gonna be able to go across? Can we incorporate that in the door or not? Uh, because if not, we're gonna have to have, that it's removed. not your problem, but I'm gonna have it's to have this trim removed. Four inch. Uh, depend on the molding we're gonna use up there. You have like five and a half inch of space. And that step is, Roughly four inch. So. So will it work? Uh, maybe yes, maybe not. We have to see. Okay. Uh, like what kind of casing? I'm gonna have to hire someone separately to take off that molding. To remove the bottom molding. Which is mm -hmm. such a drag. I'll show it to Alex. He might have some ideas. If we to, can make this work. You know, we'll see. Or maybe you do some kind of paint effect, kind of bring it out. We'll see. Okay, I see. He has some ideas. I know, he's got lots of ideas. <laughs> All right, so uh, she has two step molding. The bottom step, Alex, if they run it, we're gonna have like only inch and a half of space from the bottom of the molding to top of the door casing. So we have to see how we're gonna case that door uh, so they don't run into each other. But we... That's something that we need to talk about. It. All right. Thank you. Unless it just stops when you case the door. Yeah, or maybe, I don't know. It's just a transition stuff. Yeah. Thank you.